Grace is with us in Detroit. Hey, Grace, welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hi, thank you for taking my call. Sure, what's up? Um, I'm kind of lost here. Um, I'm, I've been at my job for 15 years. Um, I absolutely despise it. And um, I, I don't know, is it selfish of me to be thinking about walking away from it and trying something new? No. Why would you feel selfish? Okay. Why does that make you uh, ask that question? I, I guess I just get nervous about it. I, I almost feel like I'm institutionalized there, and um, <laughs> you know, not having a I have to, not I'm having in a, a college degree cell. or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Grace, who's who is relying on your income? Well, I, I have two kids, and my husband works as well. Yeah, yeah. So, so how, how much do you make? Um, it. it ranges from 70 to 100 but we mm-hmm. work a lot of overtime six yeah. days a week yeah and what what did how much your husband make uh anywhere between um probably 100 to 112 give or take wow okay yeah. so a wonderful household income why is it that over time you can't make a decision to do something else that pays <laughs> as much right <laughs> No, no. I, I, I'm just nervous because I, I don't have a degree or anything, and I thought about going back to school, but okay. But then lo- we're losing income, and then, well, hold on. Um, I okay, don't know. so Grace, I talk to people like this every day. They're in this, and this is all normal. So don't feel bad about this. Don't feel any shame. These are real emotions, but it's because you don't know. You don't even know what you don't know, or maybe right. you do. So I'm just curious. What would you do if you if you didn't have to worry about getting qualified and you knew that you could get hired and you knew you would do well? Any ideas that you if have? you had the if you had the education yeah. you could do anything you wanted to do? Yeah. What what would you do? I honestly I really don't know. I, I okay. feel like I've I kind of lost myself, you know, throughout the years. I, I don't 15 know. Fifteen years, yeah. Yeah. All right. And listen, that's normal too. So I'm not gonna try to solve it right here, but I'm I'm gonna give you mm-hmm. a little construct. But but what you've got to ask yourself is. You, you have to say, what would I do? And keep asking yourself, what would I do? And what would I do? And I promise you, Grace, if you allow yourself to wonder like a child, remember how we used to wonder about everything? Why don't you just allow yourself to wonder, what would I like to do? But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to kickstart this really quick, give you some ideas. Who are the people you most want to help? If you could make a good living and you were helping people with your work, who, who would you want to try to help? Anything pop in your head? Um... I really don't know. All right. All right. So here's the deal. When you lock up on this, here's, no, no, it's okay. Here's what I want you to do. This is a quick homework assignment. I want you to get okay. out a piece of paper tonight okay. while it's fresh. And I want you to just list out, or you can type this up, put it on your phone. I don't care. I want you to list out the skills that you're really, really good at. I mean, top level, eights, nines, and maybe a 10 or two, okay? I want you to just kind of mm-hmm. just get really aware of what you do well. Then I want you to start to dream a little bit and wonder, go, what kind of work do I think I would really enjoy doing? You haven't enjoyed working so long, your heart has actually uh, been covered up with so much drudgery that you don't even think you can enjoy work anymore. Is that true? True. Yeah, but yeah. I want you to get outside of that and go, what kind of work do I think that I would enjoy? By the way, you'll get some clues okay. with those skills you write down. Because it tends, tends okay. to be What's a, some examples of some skills? Like detail-oriented, well, people-oriented? So, yeah, so uh, let's let's work with her on this. So what are you? What do you think are your top two or three skills? Soft skills, hard skills. What would you say? If I interviewed everybody that knows you, what would they say? Um, I'm a detailed person. Okay. Um, um, I'm a hard worker. Mm-hmm. Um. I, I, I don't really know. <laughs> no, you sure you do. Sure you do. Now, when you say you're detailed, that means you're pretty organized and you like processes. Yes or no? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I like structure. <laughs> you like structure. Okay. Give me an example of something you might like to do that you've never done that's involving details and structure. What pops to your mind? Don't worry about a job title. Just the type of work. If, you, if you're good at details, do you like working with details? Mm-hmm. If you're good at processes, do you like working with processes? Make sense? Right, right. There you, there you um. go. So wait a minute. Here's a, here's a weird thing popped into my head. So, Ken, I, I'm, I'm, uh, if you did that, you, okay, I, I just made this up in my head while she was talking. All right? Could be great. Or while you were talking, anyway. But um, the, uh, if you like details and you like organizing things, what if you – do you like – is it – Put a smile on your face if, like, the garage is organized or the uh, 
bedroom shelves are organized? Oh yeah. <laughs> maybe you maybe yep. you open an organizing company, teach people how to do that. Go into their homes and organize for them. Okay. You heard of people doing that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, my daughter watches uh, YouTube things on that. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that woman, whatever her name is, that does that stuff. Yeah, but I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to get a TV show. All you got to do is just make money. Right. Here. And I'm not even sure that's okay. the thing. I'm just saying that's an example of something right. where just for just a second you felt ten pounds lighter, twenty pounds okay. lighter, just for the okay. idea of doing that instead of doing what you're doing. Because it's a little bit closer to your skills. Yeah, and, and here's the deal, Grace. I think you have ideas and you're afraid to say them, and I'm not going to put you on the spot here on the Ramsey Show, but I'm telling you, you have ideas. You have wondered about stuff, and you're afraid to say it because you're going, I don't know if I'm too old. I don't know if I'm good enough. I don't know if I can get qualified. I don't know if I can replace my income. And I think that what you have to do is you got to get to the point where you begin to say, what is it that I would do? And then we go look at it. Well, let's, let's, I think say, you, let's say she needs a, a degree that takes two years to go get her, some certifications. If she'd have started that 15 years ago, she'd already been 13 years into her new career. That's exactly right. So start so, it. So start now. Here's why, Greg. Grace, listen, Grace, you're making really good money, seventy to $100,000. You could cash flow your way through getting qualified. Yep. You can cash flow that. Yep. And you don't have to jump off of the ledge here. This is something you can do. It is doable. One thing I want you to do, go to uh, KenColeman.com. Take the uh, Career Clarity Guide. It's going to allow you a little bit more time, and you're not on the air, you're not under pressure, and you walk through the exercise, and then if you're still stuck, Call me on the Ken Coleman Show. I think the idea is there, Dave. Here's, here's what I've seen a lot. People have thoughts, and, and yet what they do is they go, oh, that's a thought, but it's, it's not doable, or it's going to cost too much, or uh, if I fail, we're going to live under a bridge. There's so many fears and doubts that immediately start to go like this. They fire like firecrackers you know, in our head, and we're like, oh, I can't do that. And we've got to get to the point where we say, hey, what would I love to do? What, what, what results does this work create? And then I ask myself, wait a second, do I actually have the talent? Maybe not right now, but is it a skill, a learnable skill? Most of the time the answer is yes. And then we say, all right, what do I have to learn? What do I have to do? How much is it going to cost? How long is it going to take based on my financial reality? Those four qualifying questions, Dave, but create but a plan. Don't look up 15 years no. from now and not having started. No. It's never because too you're late. Because you're stuck. Because you're not stuck. No. Not making this kind of income. You're not stuck. Their combined income, she can cash flow can any quit qualification. quit and live on his income. You're not stuck. But you don't have to do that. <laughs> you can you can use this income to make the transition. That's, that's right. That's what you should do gently and wisely. But you need to take the first few steps in the next few weeks. And step one is go to KenColeman.com and take the career assessment. And that'll make a big, what would you call it? The It's the Career Clarity Guide. Cure, career, and it's free. It's absolutely free, KenColeman.com. Yeah. And uh, it'll really begin to give you some answers and you begin to see ideas or verify some thoughts that you've had.